The next thing you want to be setting up after analytics is your Google Search Console. Now, again, very much like analytics, it's free and it allows you to see a lot of other things in your website. Now, I'll come to that in a moment, but again, you go in and put your domain name in and it will ask you to verify your website and it'll ask you to add a, a tag to your website. And again, you can go back to this header and footer scripts and put that in there and follow the on-page instructions and it will allow you to then verify your website, which will then allow you to see your Google Search Console. Now, obviously Google Search Console can show you a wealth of different information. And I'll just quickly run through what that is. So you've got your overview, you can see uh, your performance in terms of total clicks and if there's anything else, you know, the errors and whatever, there is certainly things there that I could be fixing and I will be fixing. So we need to to address problems there. So that all flags up in your, your overview. URL inspection, you can inspect any URL on your website. We can look at the Google search results and see what impressions, clicks, average click-through rate, average position are, and a whole bunch of other data. Um, performance on Discover, which I've not really taken advantage of just yet. Index coverage, we can see uh, that, you know, I've got a couple of wee issues there where we need to fix them. But I'm actually launching a new website in the next day or two, so I will fix that when the new website's there. But we can see how the indexing is going for the website. My site maps, we can see any URLs that I wanted to be removed, whether it's outdated content or temporary removals. We can see core web vitals, um, poor URLs and everything else. Um, based on actual data. Mobile usability, I've got a little error there as well. Breadcrumbs, events, FAQ, logos, products. Um, you can also see security issues if your website's got any. You'll also be highlighted if your website's got any manual actions taken against you. Um, you can also have a look at your links and see what are your top link to page, internal links, top linking websites, if a whole bunch of websites are linking to you, and a whole bunch of other information. Now, the most important thing here is, this is how Google sees your website. And it, you know you, you have to provide ownership proof of your website to be able to get this to work for you. And it's something, again, that you can use to your advantage and make decisions on that, moving your website forward based on this data, security issues, core web vital issues, or anything else that flags up, um, you know, whether it's your page is struggling to be indexed, I think that's really important. So there's a whole lot of very important information in the Google Search Console that can allow you to resolve problems in your website and further enhance your website. And that is essentially another thing that's completely free and something you should be doing at the same time, directly after installing your analytics. So again, go away and install Google Search Console on your website just now.